world, dear pen pals, dear new friends of Iceland from the bed. As promised, here's my second part of the cat tutorial, but I had to do this uh, slightly differently because when I'm painting down here and you're looking up there, you can't see anything. So um, I actually started the cat all over again in several steps that I can show separately. And uh, my first thought when I was painting this was it looks a little bit like a, a tadpole or the the stage of the frog egg when it turns into a tadpole. So yeah, uh, all of us probably started as such a little worm-like structure before we became more complex. So uh, the cat that I showed you yesterday, sleeping on the paper, also starts with such a C-shaped worm. And that can just look any way you want, any color you want. Today I painted with uh, something like rooibos tea, so it's like reddish brown, not this yellow brown of the coffee. So here the tadpole gets uh, like a small head that is sort of like an egg, and the tail also becomes a little bit more refined. This cat has a lot of hair on the tail, and I like that because I can play with the hair. Uh, then here you can like attach the ears to the egg. Again, that doesn't have to be super complicated, and there is no right and wrong in painting. Then I refined the ears with a darker color, just as a little bit of a shadow. And now, while the paint is still wet, contours that turn into hairs, maybe you see this hair by the ear, that came along while like putting the wet paintbrush into the water on the paper. Yeah, and like this is how the tail is hairy. Uh, and my paintbrush, that is actually just a medium tank brush, uh, can make very wide lines and very fine ones, so I used the chance to refine the face as well. And here, cat with closed eyes. As pointed out, I have myself a small problem like shaping the eyes, but uh, just differentiating this uh, thin line and thick line can already create a picture. And to me, it just matters that the picture has movement, that you have an idea of what is on the picture. And uh, yeah, the cat is laying on something. And that I can develop the picture, like just the way it, let's say, talks to me, like the way I have the feeling it is right. It doesn't have to look like the photo. I think I gave up uh, when I was like 18 years old that things have to look like photos because uh, my art teacher told me uh, it's boring to paint the stuff you see every day. The point of painting is to interpret how you feel about the thing. And now I wish you happy painting, happy feeling, and um, come forward with your questions. Uh, I want to know what to do next. Bye-bye.